Hold up. So I'm about to take my first solo overnight motorcycle trip. Like, I'm like nervous guided, like for real. I'm not nervous about riding long distances because I've done that before, but staying overnight and then riding without a destination, I'm just riding. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me for the ride. Let's go. Okay, so recently in our area, we were affected by Hurricane Isaias. Um, it came through and the rain and wind wasn't that bad. Let me take that back. The wind was terrible because it produced tornadoes in our area. Luckily, um, we had tornado warnings in my area, but I wasn't affected. But unfortunately for some businesses about 20 miles from my house, tornadoes affected them. So coming up on the left, you can see that there were some buildings that were destroyed um, by the tornadoes produced by the hurricane. Um, I think the first building is a hotel and oh my gosh, I cannot imagine being a guest in that hotel during a, during a tornado. I'm pretty sure that was a scary experience. So here it is here. And then here is a, it was like a construction building or some type of like woodwork or carpentry building. And then right next to it was the Dairy Queen. And on the right, you can see that that house was really messed up. But prayers to the people in that area. I hope they recover really, really soon. A few moments later. No, she she wasn't ready. And here we are in the rain. <laughs> so it actually looks a lot worse than it was. It wasn't a lot of traffic, so, and I look like I'm riding a lot faster than I actually was, but, um, yeah, this was my first time riding on the highway in proper rain gear. It's not the first time I've ridden in rain. It's just, I was drenched when I got home. So this was nice having my own rain suit. Um, it was extremely hot, but I'd rather be hot than completely drenched. So here I am in the rain. This trip was just everything. So many learning experiences. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I ride through the rain, I feel invincible when I come out of it. <laughs> so here is me just celebrating my invincibility. About to go get some food and I'm gonna go back and relax and figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But until then, bye. It's a brand new day and I'm 
about to get on the road for International Female Ride Day. Didn't even register to me that that was what this weekend was, but it worked out. So um, I have no clue what I'm doing today or where I'm going to ride, but I do know that I want to go to two attractions today. So I'm going to try to hit both of those and then find somewhere to sleep tonight. Um, let's see where these two wheels take me. stop right here just to say kudos to all of you who ride down the highway with no helmets on that's a level of thrill i'm not exactly ready for but shout out to y'all salute go carry on Google, try to find a room, and check in with you guys in a few minutes. So, I made it to Charleston, South Carolina. I was supposed to be in Columbia, but at the last minute, I changed my mind. And I was like, I want to come to uh, Charleston. So, here I am, just back home tomorrow. I really don't want to go back to reality, but it is what it is. About to go get my food now because I'm hungry. Good morning. As you can see, it's a brand new day. The sun is shining, not really, it's raining, but it's gonna be a great day anyway. As you can see, I have on my rain gear because. It was really ugly this morning when I woke up, so I waited a couple of hours to leave out. Um, but I'm still gonna run into those same storms on the way home. So, I'm geared up, I'm ready. I don't plan on getting much footage on the road today because honestly, I'm tired. I just wanna just do these six hours and get to my bed. But um, if anything happens, you know, I'll let you know. So, <laughs> y'all. Thank you for riding with me on this trip. It's been amazing. So I will see y'all when I get help. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I made it home, you guys. Um, so I'm like so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. Man, like. <sighs> Okay, let me get off these hot clothes, but I'm home. I had a great time. I'm so happy. I need to check these miles. I think this was a 1,000 mile weekend, and if it wasn't, it's like probably like two or three miles off. So, check in with y'all next time for the next ride. <laughs> <laughs> 